I mean, because you know, I always, I always tell people this. My dream was to make eight million for ten years. That that was my whole dream. That was my whole goal. And like I told my father that, and he was like, uh, I know what your dream was, but look what this John Concat guy's making. And I was like, huh? I was like, oh my geez. <laughs> and now the rest is literally history. Um, yes. And so, uh, okay, let's just hit the NBA a little bit in the time that I have with you here. What do you think of Ben Simmons um, and his situation in Philadelphia that seems uh, like that marriage is going to have to break up? With what MB had to say and everything. Going, going back to what my father taught me, he took me to a game one time. And it was mm-hmm. a terrible game. And on the way back, he says, Son, if you ever make it to this level, make sure you put on a good show. You're obligated to do that. And like, I've, I've never thought about it, but we are obligated to put on a good show. They're paying us 30, and like I put myself in the category, they're paying us 20, 30 million to dribble mm-hmm. a basketball. Right. Put on a good show. Work on your game. They're asking you to work on your game. They're not. They're not saying nothing. That, look, nobody's saying you're a bad guy. You're doing this and doing that. We're saying that the process is over. We brought. We built this team to win championships. You know, people in Philadelphia they respect people that work hard. You got to work on your game. I was there at the game six where he dribbled under the rim where he could have dunked it because he didn't want to get fouled. Listen, I wasn't a great free throw shooter, but you know what? I wasn't going to stop being aggressive because I, I was worried about missing free throws. So we're obligated to put on a good show. We're obligated to work on our game. So he has to decide this up. Do I want to be a really good player or do I want to be one of the greatest? Because, you know, it, it, it sounds good, but it's a thin line. Like, you know, some people are just happy with, hey, I'm making 30. I'm, I'm doing this. I got this actress. I'm, I'm riding around in this car. Some people are happy with that. But other people are like, no. I want Rich Eisen talking about me in the morning saying I'm one of the greatest <laughs> ever. So, you know, he has to he has to make that decision. But look, I know he's receiving a lot of criticism and the greats receive criticism. Nobody's good enough to where they can't receive criticism, but his criticism is warranted. Work on your game. Shoot the jumper. Step up to the line and knock him down when you're supposed to. Period. There's nothing to talk about. So, you know, the fact that he said he wants to be traded, well, he needs to understand that if you don't work on your game, and, you know, he probably does. I'm not going to jump on him. He probably does work on his game. But if you continue to to, to show up like you did in the playoffs and any other arena, it's going to be the same thing down the line. So work on your game, period. You're obligated it, to do that. It seems like Philly and he just can't mix anymore, right? I mean, do you think that? Well, it ain't got think- nothing to do with Philly. You know, like I, I've been, well, we've both been around, you know, in certain circumstances. Oh, the, the, you know, the comp is, is done. I don't want to be here anymore. Than that. But the, the, this is all on him. The people in Philly have given him enough chances. And look, F- Philadelphia, Boston, L.A., and Miami, you got to bring it. You got to work hard. And because the people are watching, people expect you to, you know, work hard. And he's been doing the same thing for three, four years, and they've given him the pass. So, uh, if he if he does come back there, uh, his game better be different. I know that. A few more minutes left with Shaquille O'Neal here on the Rich Eisen Show via Zoom. You so, can take uh, two hours with me, Rich. You know that. I I appreciate that. I I don't want to hold up your time on your on your tour here, Shaquille O'Neal. I want to make sure I'm respectful. Right, well, I'm respectful you. about you. It, are, you know what I'm saying? You are. You uh, are. So, um, what do you think Damian Lillard should do? What do you think's going on in his mind, and what you think? he's going to do or should let's go start with the should do. What do you think? He's an old school mentality guy. He is. That's playing in the new school. See the old school guy will say, I'm not teaming up with you. I'm going to beat you. Right. But these new school guys are saying, Hey, let's team up to make it easier. So that's the tough decision for him. I know he wants to stay in Portland and, you know, win it out, but he may have to, he may have to switch up his mentality. I'm not saying he should. I'm just saying he may have to because everybody else is doing it. And if everybody else is doing it, that's just going to, you know, keep him further from winning a championship. Uh, so, I mean, like, but I, I, I don't know. Like, if he, it, should he go to a contender if he wants to? If he wants to brighten his chance of winning a championship, I say he should do that. Uh, I don't really like guys teaming up but it's just the way it is these days and we just have to accept it so you know if we can get to a team that already has two or three guys you add him 
that raises his chances of winning a championship. And I guess then Milwaukee's the old school way of doing it then? Is that what you would think? Yes. Yes. I've heard Giannis on many occasions. I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying in Milwaukee. And of course, it'll be a lot of, oh, well, if, you know, uh, Kawhi wasn't hurt and if James wasn't hurt, they wouldn't have won. Maybe so. But Giannis has said it. I'm staying in Milwaukee. They just gave him that big money. And I respect him for that. All right. So tell me what you're doing with um, with Frosted Flakes here, Shaq. And how we well, can help. What do we well, do? Earlier this year, Tony and I we teamed up to take uh, Mission Tiger to a whole new level. You mm-hmm. know, we want to help more kids by, uh, uh, you know, we uh, created this cereal. Uh, let me see. I see. Make sure you get a good look at it. Okay, there it is. Yellow frosted flakes with the crispy cinnamon balls. Cinnamon, cinnamon yes. basketballs. And, and yes, right. Okay. And now, okay. yes. Thanks to all the fans who bought a box, Tony and I are able to do something bigger. Uh, with the game changing Mission Tiger donation, we're going to impact more than 60,000 kids across school di- school districts in the six cities that I played in. And with this money, we're going to help kids purchase new sports equipment uniforms, repave sports courts, refurbish playing fields, and provide new training equipment and more. Uh, the, the donation is all part of Mission Tiger's goal that Tony and I announced earlier. We said we're going to help a middle school, a million middle school teenagers gain better access to sports. And to date, we helped over 760,000. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Thanks. Is there any way that we can, how, how can I help? Anything I can do other than just buying your cereal and eating cinnamon basketballs and stuff like that? Buy some cereal. Buy it for your whole staff. Because let me tell you something, it's really good. Trust me. Well, I like that. It stays oh, crispy. It's, yes, it's cri- yes. crispy uh, in milk. Yes. I mean, that's yes. a crucial that's a crucial part of it. Frosted Flakes was already the best cereal ever, but now this is the bestest cereal everest. <laughs> Got it? The, the bestest cereal everest. I love it. I love it. Well, okay. Well, then um, I'm thrilled to hear that. You're a good man, Shaquille O'Neal. You're right. a good man. I'm glad Thank to hear. You. All right, let's 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 do this more often. Um, Let I'm, me know, brother. You know I got you. I will hit you. Uh, I will hit you uh, as conditions warrant for sure. My my wife sends her bus. You take care of yourself, Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, uh, would you like to make a Super Bowl bet now? Um, on what? On who? Uh, just put who, who, whoever you got. The Dallas uh, I I'm I... Dallas Cowboys are making it to the Super Bowl. That is a large amount of money there. I, so I, I bet this much versus your one dollar. That the Dallas Cowboys are making the Super Bowl? Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Well, place that aside. Would, place that aside. As you know, it. I'm this is just this is just, you know, me talking here as a National Football League employee. I I don't understand what you're asking me or anything like that. You understand what I'm saying. Right. But for just for, for my friends, just for you know what's and giggles. Um, keep that aside. And you yeah. know, when we're yeah. off the air, we can yeah. chit chat a little bit. I yeah. I'm taking Brady. I'm going Brady again. Okay. Well, listen, I love Brady. Uh, I, I love those. I'm guys. sure. Love them all. You're still a cowboy fan. you still still boxing. Okay. Always. What do you think? What I do you think? Mean, uh, listen, we just got to go in and put it on work and we got to get back to being America's team. Right. You know, we've, we, we've struggled in the past couple of years, injuries and, you know, contract negotiations, but, you know, hopefully everybody's healthy. And look, I'm a Cowboys fan forever, so right. I just wanted to go see Great Brother. I got the, the opportunity to sit down. Like, I always see Jerry Jones in passing high, right. but I got the opportunity to sit down in his office. That's a beautiful man. Beautiful man. You know, he told me how he started the Cowboys. His story is just so legendary. So, Mr. Jones, I know you're watching. I talked to him and his son. That was probably one of the best days of my life. Well, he, he, it's funny. He said um, last year, he said that prior to his third Super Bowl win, he said, he told God, if you give this to me, I won't ask for another. And he's like, well, I'm letting him know I'd like to rearrange that deal. <laughs> he's back to ask for another one. Yes. <laughs> you know, and, and I just love Dak. I love everything about him. Yes, I just love, you know, too. the way he came into the league and the pressures that he, he was under, and then last year, I mean, my God, he was just balling out and then carted off, and now he's back. Good. Looking no worse to wear, so Good. this is it right now, yep. you know? Uh, I wish him well. I actually wish all the other teams well. Uh, Tampa Bay going to be bringing that noise. I could do my main man, Leonard Fournette. LSU had a great season. That's right. Year. That's LSU. Yeah. So, but uh, I'm, I'm a Cowboys guy. So, uh, did you ever try it? Did you ever try football? You ever play tight end yes, or something was, like that? I, I was actually a great tight end. And okay. A guy your, and a guy your size, after I scored, 
So I sideswiped me, messed my knee up. And then I was just sitting at the house one day, you know, just messing around. And my father came in with a piece of paper and smacked me on the head up. And he said, if you, he said, I know you like football, but look what the basketball players are making up. This was when John Conkak signed that big contract. <laughs> and that day right there, I said, you know what? No more football for me. I'm just going to bring this NFL style to the NBA. So somebody chopped you down, went low. Just yes, that's what you yes, do on the tight end. Yes. It's your size. Yeah. Okay. A guy your size. A little scrawny little guy <laughs> trying to end my high school football career. And your dad's like, you go get yourself some contact money. That's what he's yes. basically. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, I always tell people this. My dream was to make $8 million for 